Hi, this is Rabbi Gershon Litt, Commodore Levy Chapel, Naval Station, Norfolk. Hope everyone is staying well and healthy. This week's Torah portion is called Naso. And in this week's Torah portion, we see the very famous blessing that the priests, the Kohanim, would give to the Jewish people. And this blessing wasn't just made up. It was told by God to Moses and said, the Aaron, the high priest, this is what all the priests are going to bless the Jewish people with forever, even until today. The blessing is something that we know. We bless our children with it every Friday night. The Lord, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord deal kindly with you, be gracious unto you. And may the Lord bestow his favor upon you and grant you peace, grant you shalom, shalom. This word shalom is a difficult word to understand. A lot of people understand it to mean kind of the absence of bad things. The truth is that shalom is not a absence of anything, but rather is very proactive. It is a word that means you have completed something. Lishalem means to complete. If I order something in Hebrew at a restaurant in Israel, I would say, I want to pay. Shalem is the root of the word shalom. I want to complete this transaction. So true peace is not just about the absence of war. True peace is really a proactive thing. And I think right now that's a very powerful message with everything that's going on in our country to be able to internalize this message, this idea that I have to be proactive, but at the same time, I have to do it b'shalom in a way that we understand is peaceful, a way that is positive, in a way that is going to make a difference. And if we do that, then we will be bringing this situation to its end, to completion, doing good in the world and bringing the world to a better place. That's shalom, doing things in the right way with the right intentions. And by doing Shalom, by fixing the world and doing it in the proper way, will be a blessing to all of us and to our entire country and to the world. Have a wonderful Shabbos.